एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग ब्रिज आई होप यू गज आर डेंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग एंड रियल इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो फॉर ऑल दी एस्पायरिंग डेटा प्रोफेशनल एंड फॉर माई लवली डेटा कम्युनिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी स्पेसिफिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट द बिजनेस एनलिस्ट प्रोफाइल एंड टूडे आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द एक्सटेंसिव डिटेल्स रिलेटेड टू द बिजनेस एनलिस्ट जॉब प्रोफाइल्स लाइक वट इज द एक्चुअल रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ अ बिजनेस एनलिस्ट प्रोफाइल वट दे एक्चुअली डू ऑन डे टू डे बेसिस हाउ कैन यू डिसाइड वेदर इट्स अ गुड करियर ऑप्शन फॉर यू और नॉट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दी टू द point and very crisp road map to become a business analyst and what kind of companies majorly and aggressively hire for analyst related roles and most important very most important the average pay scale for the business analyst role in india so there are lots of lots of amazing things in this video for everyone including the freshers entry level freshers any working professional so make sure you watch this video till the very end and like this video in really really big numbers so that it can reach to other aspiring data professional as well and especially the fresh grads so that they can also get to know more about the different opportunities and job profiles available in the it industry and they can make a right career decision also let me know in the comment section what are you expecting me in next video related to business analyst any podcast any suggestion related to this type of video let me know in the comment section and also how do you feel about this road map make sure to put a comment it will definitely helpful and if you are watching any of my video for the very first time and liking this kind of content related to the data profiles hit the subscribe button smash it and also press the notification icon so to all the learners today i want to talk about an amazing e learning platform skill link which is india's largest engineering edtech platform and it provides post graduate programs across domains like mechanical civil electrical electronics cse and etc their courses are based on emerging technologies like conversational ai data science artificial intelligence machine learning autonomous vehicles and many more and the best part is their prime focus is to give you the industry level project experience with excellent live technical supports and so far 300 plus recruiting companies are registered on their platform 2000 plus job offers and so far 15000 plus active learners on skill link platform if you are an aspiring data professional and looking to step into the world of data science then post graduate program in data analytics and data science by skill link is a great option for you why i will definitely talk about it but even before that i have shared one special link in the video description which you can use to register for a free career guidance session with expert and also to avail some exclusive discount offers so it will be in total 24 weeks long course and 100% online that means you can join it from anywhere leading experts of the industry will be teaching you in this program and it would be a complete practical based learning you will be working on 16 industry level projects which you can showcase in your resumes and also in your portfolios they will be covering all the latest tech stack for the data analytics like python mysql anaconda tableau sqlite ms excel and power bi which are must to have skill set for any data analytics professional by enrolling in this program you will be exploring every aspect of the data science beat the learning mathematics for different machine learning algorithms and here is the list of all tech companies where the students of skill link have got the job so what are you waiting for link is in the description for free career guidance session and also to avail 15% discount so hurry up and check out the link all right so here is the first and very most important important thing like what are the actual role and responsibilities of a business analyst i have actually summarized everything the entire role and responsibility of a business analyst in three keywords requirement gathering and i would say this is the most most important part of the business analyst day to day activities because business analysts are someone who closely work with the business teams right i will explain what the business team stakeholder and these keywords but they are someone who closely knows about the business their challenges the data the metrics and everything and that's why these guys are responsible to gather every single and really important really critical information from the business from the end users customer stakeholders anyone and put it together and act like a bridge between the engineering team plus the end user or customer so first thing is definitely get involved with internal and external stakeholders so what a stakeholder means uh, it can be like any end customer or end user who came up with the requirements or who want you to solve some specific business use case and sometimes it can be internal and sometimes it can be external so let's say you're working in a product based company for an example zomato uber amazon anything right they have different different business team some team might be working on flights data some might be working on payments data within a company we interact with different business teams they will be our internal stakeholders or internal customers but let's you are working for a service based company or consulting firm right so they will be having multiple clients and they can come up with their business use cases so for you they are your external vendors 
स्टेक होल्डर्स लाइक हु आर आउट साइड द कंपनी दैट्स वाई दे आर दी एक्सटर्नल स्टेक होल्डर्स सेकेंड इज अंडरस्टैंड बिजनेस यूज केस एंड कलेक्ट क्रिटिकल बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट so understanding business use case is that let's say you are interacting with the internal customer or external customer whatever it is so whatever problem they came up with right you need to understand it you need to ask all those questions back and forth will be there but you need to understand the business use case really well because whatever information you will collect here you will be passing same thing to the engineering team and somehow let's say you were not able to collect the right information then there will always be a gap between the engineering team like how they will even solve it or what kind of proper data they need to bring into the system or what kind of business rules they need to apply so that's why you are the one who will fulfill that gap last is the act like a bridge between data analytics team and business stakeholder and that's what even i mentioned you are the one who will act like a bridge you will be connecting both end points so that whatever final outcome your stakeholders are expecting you can deliver it in the right manner next is the analyze part so analyze means after understanding the business its entire process or the use cases next thing is the create blueprint of business matrices asked by the stakeholders you need to prepare those actual blueprints like mimicking the things try to create some samples by your own that how this data will look like and what would be the edge cases what would be the data related anomalies and how it should be removed everything you need to prepare those kind of blueprints so that once that data is actually available for your consumption you can quickly start with your own implementation after that analyze the data and generate right business matrices so your blueprint was ready now is the actual implementation part we can take an example of telcom and telcom will have different different customer users so there can be a use case where you are trying to see a pattern or you are trying to find a trend for customer churn like till what time or what time period that customer was availing our services and now he and she is not active on our platform or anything like that so you will try to figure out those trends and patterns so that you can communicate it to the stakeholders and they can take the right decision to retain as much customer as they can last is the find trends and outliers from the data so finding trends and outlier is the same when you are just analyzing the data try to come up with all important business matrices right brainstorm it there could be some mathematical concept like the stats related concepts probability related concepts but the thing is you need to find the right trends which are actually helpful for the business to improve their things and also the outliers while you are analyzing the data if you see something which is not according to your business and which you think is a red flag for the business team and they should definitely know about it so it's the responsibility of a business analyst to figure out all possible things which is actually hampering and impacting the business now the most most important part the communication or communicate the whole thing uh, whatever are your findings matrices outliers trends whatever you have figured out communicate it to the end user and stakeholders in the right way and right fashion create reports for analyze data and communicate it to the business stakeholders whenever you interact with the stakeholders always think that they are the non tech person or anyone who is actually not that technical and not a data person as well that's why they are reaching out to you so being a data person it's your responsibility that in the right fashion you are communicating those things next is the represent data in its visualized form so this is the most important part which i'm talking about as soon as you have prepared those reports found those trends try to visualize it in the form of some pictorial notations it can be a dashboard pie graph bar chart line chart heat map or anything which is easily understandable and that's what your internal and external stakeholders are looking for and the last thing in the communication take feedbacks from the stakeholders and improve business matrices and i think this is applicable everywhere when you are closely working with the end users it's not possible that probably in the one single shot or first iteration like you have delivered exact thing what they were looking for there might be some feedbacks from the business stakeholders that you need to improve these thing in this matrices and we are looking few more things enrich this matrix right so there will be feedback you need to again capture it you need to reiterate the things and include those feedbacks in your matrices and again present it in front of the stakeholders so this loop will continue until unless your internal and external stakeholders are satisfied with the matrices now talking about the next point that who should actually target this business analyst kind of role and how can you even decide whether this is a good career option for you or not if you are someone who want to closely work with the business 
and not very much interested into the technical part like creating large scale system complex engineering system back end api system design everything like way too complex coding part or anything if you want to stay away from that side but closely want to work with the data its analysis part stats probabilities dashboarding visuals and producing the right matrices for the growth of the business then this is the right profile for you and honestly speaking you don't need any management related degree or anything like that even if you are a bachelor you are interested for it doesn't matter coming from a tech background non tech background cs non cs if you are interested in it definitely there are opportunities you just need to acquire the right skill set and you can definitely move into any of the good company all right so now talking about another very much important thing i know which you guys are eagerly waiting for the crisp road map to become a business analyst if you can acquire all these skill set which are listed down here i can bet you can crack any of the company doesn't matter the big consulting big four big product based companies fang whatever it is you can like crack any of the top notch companies so the first thing and very much important is the statistics part and where this statistics related things will be involved during your data analysis right because when you are actually working on the matrices you need to actually think through from the stats perspective calculating the average mean median mode standard deviation the percentage growth percentage loss and many other mathematical and stats related matrices so that's why this understanding becomes really really important and next thing is the programming and after listening this programming keyword from my side you might be little bit doubtful because in the previous section i was explaining anyone can choose business analyst profile if you don't want to code much right so this thing is actually true here if i'm mentioning programming i'm not talking about typical data structures algorithm or very like high level of programming the programming here i am talking about is more related to the data analysis right you need to know like any of it python or r because both languages provide a very very amazing support for amazing data exploration libraries like pandas numpy matplotlib sklearn in python and similar kind of things available in r as well so the programming part which you need to know that is most specifically towards the data exploration side not related to any complex dsa or anything which is way too complex to code right next is the databases you should definitely have a really good understanding of working with the databases like the entire data modeling part how the table schema related things work and how you like even query the data and how you see the entire picture of warehouse or these kind of concepts you should definitely be aware about and in the databases we have definitely transactional and no sql databases so you never know like what kind of database your company is using but as a business analyst it should be your responsibility that you are observing that database in a right manner it's like entire table structure and how to access it and in the transactional databases we have like mysql and postgres which could be a good addition in your skill set and in no sql like mongodb cassandra and there are many others as well but like it's not hard to understand any of the database it's just need a little bit amount of time to explore and you will be really comfortable with these databases and another a must to have skill set like 50% weightage will be given to this one the sql querying because this is something which will help you in the data representation like business analyst will be the one who will try to program those business use cases in the form of sql queries and get the right data in the right representation that's why easy level of sql medium level of sql and advanced level of sql is a must to have a skill set for the business analyst so make sure you are really good at it next and the very much important right the excel ms excel because this is something uh, sometimes i have seen people ignoring it and just running behind the latest tool and tech stack which is okay completely fine but excel is something which is really really powerful and honestly speaking most of the data scientists analysts data analysts business analysts are actually using it for proper data manipulation and creating those pivot tables and data representation and dashboards within the excel itself because this is the most common tool which is understood by the most of the folks in the industry mostly like your leadership or management folks who are sitting on the top because they are not aware about the tech and all and previously they have definitely used excel in their life and also in their day to day activities so they know it really well and they always prefer 
to have something in the excel for a better representation and manipulation and it's a must to have a skill set for any business analyst like 20 25 percent weightage definitely will be given to this part in your interviews once you are done with your right business matrices and it's the time to represent it in the form of dashboard so that it can be understood by the stakeholders and right now in the market three tools are really really popular in terms of the dashboarding power bi tableau and clicksense you can prefer anyone and communication part is something which is really really important and i think i have explained it i don't need to explain it again and again because you will be closely working with the business stakeholders and everyone that's why your communication plays a very very important role if you are not able to communicate anything you will always open the door for the information gap between the business and the internal systems next is the documentation is something which is really important because when you closely work with the business you will be gathering the information everything or whatever let's say feedback you are getting from the engineering team and from the stakeholder you are the one who will be taking a note of all things related to the source of truth and the documentation which you will prepare it will help everyone even the stakeholders and even the engineering team to understand the things properly so that was all about the roadmap part now i will explain that what kind of companies aggressively hire for the analyst type of roles in my five years of experience i have mostly seen service based companies and consulting based kind of firms aggressively hiring for the analyst role business analyst and data analyst role because they work with like n number of clients and for them it becomes really really important to sell their solutions or sell their approaches and they will be only able to do it with the help of the proper right matrices because they need to convince their clients for anything and even the clients will come uh, with these kind of use cases that they want to increase their revenue they want to analyze their campaigns they have run in the past they want to check the customer loyalty and many other amazing use cases they can come to you and in that case you need the business analyst in your organization to solve those use cases that's why i have seen these companies service and consulting firm aggressively hire for these roles so if you also want to start your career and you are not finding right opportunities in a startup or any well established product based companies you can easily target service or consulting firm you can enter into it easily get some experience one and two years and then you can definitely target any of the good product based companies and now the last and very much important point the average salary for the business analyst in india if you start with the business analyst role as a fresher or entry level fresher then you can definitely expect the compensation between the 7 lpa to 10 lpa right and i'm considering all those companies the service based companies and consulting firms and if you are even a mid senior level role then you can expect something like 10 lpa to uh, 12 lpa but if you are targeting the good product based companies even for the entry level pressure or mid senior level role then you can closely earn like 20 to 22 lakhs per annum and that's the average salary i have seen for the business analyst in my network or whosoever i know so far and even i have seen business analysts who are working 40 45 lakhs per annum in good product based companies but that will take little bit time if you are thinking that being a fresher you can get that much of ctc for this profile then it's a complete myth it will take some time for you and you need to gain that level of experience and after doing that you can earn easily that amount of money 40 45 lakhs even beyond that so that's what i had for you all in this video i know this video might be little bit lengthy but i definitely wanted to explain each and everything in depth like most important the role and responsibilities so that everything is very crystal clear and i hope i was able to do that if yes and you find this video really really informative then make sure to hit the like button and like this video in big big numbers so that it can spread and reach to maximum number of aspiring data professionals and also let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this entire business analyst profile your observation for the ctc skill set and their role and responsibilities and any ideas for the next video related to the business analyst put it in the comment section and again if you are watching any of my video for the very first time and liking data related content then i also need motivation and that's why you need to smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon and i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too